Want to see how I achieve this look? Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I uh, think I'll be doing a orange and blue or green. Let's go. So I'm starting off with the orange and I'm using my box of crayon watch me blush and my box of crayon uh, eyeshadow palette so i'm using the orange shade mixed with the tan shade and i'm going above the crease with the orange and as you can see my brows are already done And that is because I just uploaded a brow tutorial for beginners. And guys, all the products that I will be using <coughs> will be listed below in the description box right side up so as you can see i'm going from eye to eye which is from the crayon case and the tan shade from the box of crayon eyeshadow palette so when you're set um you may go ahead and darken the crease area so this is a bit of a pointy brush so i'm gonna take a so we're still darkening the crease with that berry shade and we're not making it too dark just a little bit of a dimension right there look at it we're doing this very lightly very light sorry <clears throat> so I used this pointy brush to place the eyeshadow and then I used a fluffier brush to just blend it out see so it looks like a shadow I can put my hand in the concealer I'll be putting the maybe a green yeah I think I'll go with a green I don't think I've ever done that much green before so I'm just taking my time to go above the crease and I'm cutting it so when you're comfortable with how your crease uh, is cut you may go ahead and apply your eyeshadow to the lid 
now uh, if you look at my cut crease you will see that I did not go all the way there because I will be blending out the edges with that dark shade because you see I cut the crease high so I actually ended up covering the dark color that I added so I'm still in my box of crayon and I'm using the green to put over my lid needed another brush so I'm adding the green where I cut the crease Also dipping into our BH Cosmetics palette that I'm also dabbing this in. So this is the orange shade that we started with. I'm just brightening the orange. Alright, so one eye is done. What I'll do is to line the lids, pop on the lash, and I'll do the other eye off camera. And I'll be back to do foundation, highlight, contour, and to finish the look. All right, so the eyes are done, the lashes are added. This is how the eyes are looking. I will upload a video or I'll do a video and upload it of how to add your eyelashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my foundation. And today I'm mixing the Milani and Juvia's Place and the Milani shade is number 14 golden toffee and it's the two-in-one conceal perfection foundation and i'm also adding some of the juvia's place um i am magic velvety matte foundation and it's this here Oh, I'll put it in the description I'm sorry so remember to make your foundation or your makeup last long you may go ahead and spray your brush with a setting powder setting spray I'm sorry lightly guys very light no I'm not going down my blend until I and them hurt you Mm -hmm. 
so after our foundation our is blended or has been blended you want to go ahead and conceal the areas that you want to bring forward which is what we call highlight so I'm using a smaller brush to blend out the highlight I'm going to switch to a, another brush, which is this here. I like to use this to blend out my concealer. Sprayed it with my setting powder. So you've done that, you want to use your setting powder that is your shade and set your all over face. So today I'm using my mirror. Okay, so now that we've set our all over face, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some dimension to our face. So we're contouring. So you want to go ahead and add or set the, um, and if you used a cream contour, you want to go ahead and set that with a powder. I did not cream contour I'm actually powder contouring and I'm actually mixing the elf contour with my Tarte contour palette the dark shade from both palettes And I'll go ahead and I'll highlight and I'll complete the look with my brown eyeliner on my lip or my lip liner and I'll add a little gloss and I'll be back with a completed look so this is a lip that I added regular brown lip liner or eyeliner and I'll add my highlight tell me you can't see that tell me
think I'm gonna add a little of that green under my eyes as well. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I've added some of the same green in my waterline and I've added some mascara to my bottom lashes as well. You can call me mermaid for today. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video today. So it's glossy nude lips. Hope you will enjoy this look. If you've actually tried to recreate this look, go ahead, tag me. Don't forget to leave me a comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that when I upload, you will be one of the first to see that video. Thank you so much for watching. Tune into my next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.